Hi friends welcome to trending places today we showcase you about Mafushi Island. A island in Maldives. Mafushi, the most popular of the local islands, is also the Maldives' best budget island. It is one of the inhabited islands of Kafu Atoll and the largest of the local islands. Measuring little over 1 km in length and 265 meters in breadth. When you're on the island, it's simple to find your bearings. Water spots are mainly reserved for the North Beach, with Bikini Beach constituting a small fraction of it. Along the beach, there are numerous hotels and water sports centers. The South Beach is a small local beach that is frequently deserted. This island has a population of about 1500 people, although it does not feel congested. Since 2009, when islanders decided to open up their islands to tourists, a slew of hotels and guest houses have sprung all around Mafushi. As a result, it's one of the Maldives' most cost-effective islands. There are plenty of hotels to choose from in Mafushi. Things to do in Mafushi. House Reef and Bikini Beach. In comparison to Thodo or Ukulahas, Mafushi's beach area is small and is divided into two sections by a breakwater. A fence surrounds one section, while the other contains various restaurants, a dive center, and hotels. The beach can be crowded even in the off-season due to the large number of tourists. As a result, there is no privacy anywhere. A trip to the sandbanks. Take a picnic lunch to a gorgeous sandbank, which is also a great place to take tons of wonderful photos and enjoy the clean waters. On a picnic island, you won't be alone. Nowadays, Anayar Island resorts have taken over several of the adjacent sandbanks and picnic islands. As a result, one of the few sites to visit is only a short distance from Rihiveli. Safari snorkeling. All of Mafushi's guest houses and water sports centers provide fascinating expeditions too. Stunning reefs alive with marine life and full of colorful coral gardens. Mavelatu, Banana Reef, Vilavaru Corner, Turtle Garden, and Mafushi Corner are some of the best snorkeling spots. Every trip is done in a group. Fishing at night. There are various forms of fishing, the most basic of which is when you are given a reel, a fishing line, and a hook. Big game fishing, looking for enormous fish such as marlin, sailfish, and barracuda is a more serious choice. Your hotel will cook your caught fish for free. However, because it can be served with rice, vegetables, and other side dishes, it is best to negotiate all the details ahead of time. Bar that floats. On any local island, alcohol is prohibited. A safari boat with a bar is stationed near Mafushi, so you may remain and enjoy a can of beer, a glass of wine, or a cocktail. What is the mechanism behind it? It's simple. You'll be transferred from Mafushi to a safari boat where you can relax for a few hours before being returned. Scuba diving is a sport that involves diving underwater. Anyone who is fortunate enough to visit the Maldives at least once should try scuba diving. It will be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Apart from coral gardens, there is a wreck in the area that can only be reached by licensed divers. Sports on the water, kite surfing, windsurfing, parasailing, water skiing, jet skiing, and many other water activities are available at Mafushi. Mafushi stands out among other nearby islands in this sense, because such centers are not located on every island. If you have a party of 8 to 12 persons, an excursion to Ari Atoll to swim with whale sharks can be arranged. A day at the resort. A number of island resorts around Mafushi allow people to visit for the day. Transfer by boat, entrance charge, food, drinks, 
and all resort amenities are included in the tour. Another two local islands, Guradhu and Gulhi, are located 6 kilometers from Mafushi and Kin. Be reached by a local ferry that departs from Mafushi. On the island, getting around is simple. The island's southern end is a tourist hotspot, with Bikni Beach, guest houses and motels, gift stores, and restaurants. One of the Maldives jails is located in the northern area of The Island. A school, the administrative office, a playground, and a central mosque are located in the center of the island, directly across from the jetty. The eastern section of the island is mostly uninhabited, though there is a noisy electric generating plant nearby. That is why, despite the fact that guest rooms are scattered over the island, you should remain in the south. In general, the island is developed and resembles Hulumail in size, which is reflected in the budget Maldives feel. Hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching all our videos.